Hi friends, it's good to be together with you again. I don't think I need to tell you exactly where I am, it should be fairly obvious. I am up in the church bell tower, standing next to the massive bell that resounds for Trinity every Sunday morning as we gather together in worship. Now, I know that three is a holy number, it's a divine number, it's a Christian number, but I really didn't want to climb three ladders to go all the way back up into the steeple today. I'm a little afraid of heights if you don't know that about me yet, and I figured two ladders would be plenty to climb today. And it just so happens that two ladders brings you right up here to be right next to this beautiful bell of Trinity's. Now this bell rings, and when it rings, I think you know it calls our attention up to God. When we hear it ringing, we know that it's time to stop what we're doing, to come together, to worship, to gather around the sacraments, and to encounter our God in the Blessed Sacraments. And so when we hear this bell ring, it calls us to something higher. It lifts our minds up to God. Now, this bell is quite significant. It has a good bit of history, just as does much of the rest of this building here. The cornerstone to this building was laid in 1871, but it took a while for everything to be finished. And so a few years later in 1877, the Good Shepherd window down below me was finished, this bell tower was completed, and this bell was installed. And ever since 1877, every Sunday morning as we've gathered in worship, one of the ushers has come out here and rung the bell, and it has resounded throughout the town, calling everybody to stop what they're doing and to come and worship our God. Bells are also used in different places in the church, but whenever we hear them ring, they call our attention to something higher. We have a bell choir that as we hear them playing beautiful music, it turns our attention again up to the worship of God as we've gathered together. If you've been with us on a feast day, you notice that we have a little set on the altar. They're called sanctus bells. They're a set of four bells bound together by a handle. And when we get to the words of institution, when the pastor or priest says, in the night in which he was betrayed, so on and so forth, you hear at the end of those statements, the sanctus bells are rung three times. And traditionally, when those bells are rung, you're to look up. And when you lift your eyes up, what your eyes fall upon is either the host, the body of Christ, elevated up in front of you, or the chalice, the blood of Christ, elevated right before your eyes. So the Sanctus bells ring, they call our attention. As we lift our attention upward, we see the body and blood of Christ presented right there in the room with us. A beautiful thing. The church has long appreciated different symbols that we can see or taste or touch or smell or hear that, that when we encounter them, they turn our attention away from what's distracting us in the world today and they turn our attention up to our God. If you look in the Old Testament, after the great flood with Noah, there is a rainbow put in the sky. And so now whenever we see a rainbow, we remember the promise of God. We remember that he doesn't want to hurt us, but that he wants to care for us and promises to be with us. When we go to church and we see water, we remember our baptisms and we remember the promise and the life that God has given to us in that sacrament. When we see bread and wine, we remember the body and blood of Christ. And in that sacrament, we encounter his real flesh and blood in, with, and under those elements. When we see keys, we remember the office of the keys. And so we remember that when the pastor or the priest announces forgiveness to us, that God has truly and really forgiven our sins. That, that we have been unshackled, unbound from the, the guilt and brokenness that burdens us, and that we have been set free into life and forgiveness anew. And so symbols in the church, such as this massive bell, they help to take our attention away from whatever's weighing us down in this world and to turn it up to something higher. They help to turn our attention up to God.